What's up everyone, it's DV. So I've got a channel update today I wanted to share with you. It's gonna be a combined between the game and my channel itself and just in general, just updates in general. So first up, I do wanna say thank you for everyone helping me reach 85,000 subscribers. I'm, I'm, I just passed 85,000. That's been a really, really fast ride. So I, I you know, I, I think I gained like 3,000 subs over the weekend. It was absolutely bonkers. So thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me. I'm only 15,000. I'm less than 15,000 to go to 100K. And then uh, we'll see what, we'll see what takes us from there I'm, I'm happy with even i was even happy with 10,000 subs so thank you everyone for watching my videos i think that's really all it takes is just watching my videos so thank you so much first up so a couple things one is my island still does not work right so i can't i, I can't reset my island still so because of that unfortunately that means i can't start building my base yet and i didn't really want to start grinding on this account until that's been reset in case i need to do another you know wipe um but i'm working with dev on that they they're aware of it what they told me was they think the two-day logic is bugged so it's pretty much hurry up and wait while we wait for them to fix that logic um if if for some reason i can't get reset by tomorrow then i'm just gonna i'll bug them again and see if see if they can help me out next i want to talk about bees so i know in the last bee video update i was told that the hive limit was two that actually you know and obviously anything i say in my videos obviously is subject to change you know they can be update any point and that's for any content creator for islands if someone releases something it could easily easily change so i was told that they probably changed it um which is why we're seeing a lot more hives but but originally it was the limit was two and it was uh and the limit for bees was six i don't know about the b limit i think b limit might still be six but i know a lot of you are actually seeing like up towards to like eight someone someone said they had eight beehives i haven't seen that i haven't seen that myself but i've heard a lot more of the threes so i've heard of a lot more three beehive which is a little bit more common the other thing i want to tell you is i discovered on my alt that as soon as i dropped one seed on the island so if there's no flowers then they won't um then my bee didn't actually spawn but as soon as i dropped a seed the second i I drop the seed the bee spawned immediately you need at least one flower seed for it to work and the and the bees will spawn so you're good there the other thing i noticed is that it doesn't look like there's much of a time difference i tried a lot of different things with the bees so i've been spending the last i think i spent like three hours four hours last night doing a lot of experiments with the bees and i can tell you that no matter how you change the bee logic it doesn't appear that they harvest honey faster so i was able to get i was able to get the bees to farm flowers faster but here's the thing it didn't make a difference in output it didn't make a difference in how much honey you got per minute um, it just didn't make a single bit of difference. So as long as you have flowers on your island and they're farming that, I think I think it's like a I think it's a lot like a totem. I think they're like totems. As long as the bees are active, then the beehive will get honey, regardless of them returning to the the beehive. Because sometimes the bees will actually go back to the hive and they don't actually give you honey. So I think it's all on a timer. So I will get a little bit more information about the bees as soon as I can. If someone has any more of that timing logic, I'm sure one of my recording team members will find out the numbers and update it in stats. Um, we do have actually have a stats. Uh, document that is linked in our discord so you can check out that document um, i'll actually link it in the description too in case uh junior jack actually updates his document so you can check that out and see how often you're going to be able to get honey and you know what the rate is based on each bee i'll see if you can actually put something together for that and as far as the channel what i'm going to be doing over the next couple days most likely while i'm trying to you know while i'm waiting for this reset i'm actually going to make a couple build a boat for treasure videos i actually had a lot of fun playing last night i, I jumped on the discord and i streamed playing build a boat for treasure and it was a ton of fun i, I really enjoyed it um and i could see i could see why a lot of players play this game and that game now jesse tc i've linked his channel in the description he is the king of build a boat for treasure my videos for build a boat for treasure are going to be noob to noob it's going to be a noob to noob video so you will not be seeing any kind of pro skills from dv but i'm going to show you some other builds from people and you know that I, I thought were really cool and uh showcase in a couple videos and i do have a couple other videos in queue for roblox islands that have been it just take they just take a little while you know it's building up a set it's building up the script and stuff so we got a whole story series coming to Roblox Islands. It's just, a, it, it just takes a lot of work to make good content. So I'm working on that. And then as far as the build contest, everyone's like DV, you know, what's going on with the build contest? We're waiting forever. So we, like I said, we had 1600 submissions. Um, unfortunately, 90% of the people did not actually fill out the form or sign up correctly. It's taken forever for us to get through every single comment. I mean, not only that, but YouTube makes it really, really hard for us to traverse comments. So if, you know, trying to get to the bottom of 1600 comments is really, really hard. And now that we've added more and more comments, it's actually more like 4,000 comments almost. So it just takes a little while for us to get through them. And then we had some people that, you know, were assigned and had to be reassigned because of, you know, life situations. So it's a little bit difficult. You know, we don't have like this entire staff here that's working against, you know, through all the different signups. So just bear with us. We're And you're not going to get DQ'd as long as you are replying in the time that we ask you to. Um, so if we say, you know, send us a friend request and you do that pretty quickly, then you're all good. You know, you're not going to get eliminated as long as we've seen your island. Um, now, if you did not respond in a timely manner, because we had a lot of people that have not responded and they are being eliminated 
update it now. Um, so if, if you didn't respond in time, unfortunately, you're probably gonna have to wait until the next contest because I did tell everyone, make sure you keep an eye on your, your post. If you haven't responded yet, then that's a oof. And there's always gonna be the next contest. I think I'm gonna do an obby contest pretty soon here, but we're gonna handle it a little bit differently. So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna actually require a screenshot be submitted through a Google form along with your sign up. And so how that'll work is you won't submit your entry until you're ready. And that way we could just sift through it all and then um, narrow it down. So if we get 2000 plus submissions for obbies and mini games, we don't really wanna have to be going and visiting people's islands and adding them and coordinating times and between time zones. And it's just, it's it's a lot of work. A lot of people don't realize they're like, I haven't heard yet. You know, and they're getting frustrated, but the, the problem is, is it's a lot more work than you think. Anyway, we're still working on those. Um, we do have, I think I think we're down to like a thousand that haven't been reviewed yet out of the 1600. So we're, we're, we're inching through that pretty quickly. I've been blowing through a bunch of them. I, I think I'm assigned like 800 of them myself. I'm blowing through them. I've got a bunch that I've actually approved last night um, for next rounds for judging. Just be patient. I'll update the timeline pretty soon here. Um, essentially what's going to happen is the finalists and judging is going to just move out probably a week or two and uh, we'll be done probably. I'm, I'm hoping we'll be done by mid-September now. So just, just hang in there. This will be great because I know a lot of people are actually in school right now. So this will give you a little bit more time to be able to digest what's going on instead of us completing everything right away. It's just going to take a little longer. But and last thing I want to talk about, which is kind of interesting, I think for some of you is what is in game in this game? We've been talking about the economy a lot as far as like, okay, you know, duping and how it affects everything. And you know, that's why I did my island reset. But what what's beyond that? Like what is what's next? Like if you're a new player, what, what are you trying to get to? Is there an in game? What is OP? What is good player status? Like what is pro status? And that's a very subjective, you know, comments like pro is, pro is going to be different for everyone. The, the label of pro in this game is going to be labeled differently for everyone, right? Pro to me. So I will tell you what I think pro is. I think pro is someone that spends a lot of time in this game, knows the inside and out and knows how to do complex builds and is not someone that gives up. Someone that can actually build a cool looking island. That's a pro to me. And it's not so much about coin uh, amount, although pro, most pros are just going to naturally have coins. So I think coins are just a result of being good in this game, right? So if you are good in this game, you're just going to naturally have millions and millions of coins, if not billions. So I think, you know, consider that when you're when you're trying to figure out uh, if someone is pro. You know, if you wanted to put a measurement on the coins, I would say as long as you have 100 million coins, you're in pretty good shape. 100 million coins is a pretty good shape. And why do I say 100 million coins? Well, 100 million coins will give you anything you need when you need a build. So if you need a smelter, it smelters only a million. If you need um, a buff crystal, then, you know, it's it's only, it's less than a million. A, a propeller is about a million. Guild of pickaxe, you, you can buy for a million. So you can pretty much with 100 million, you can pretty much buy whatever you need at that given moment. And then just replenish that 100 million. So just balance your, you know, balance back up. So try to try to produce more, you know, onions or berries or however you're farming, refill those coins and you're in good shape. 500 million is always going to be a better place. 1 billion, even better. To me, 500 million to a billion is not much different. The only difference here is if an uh, update comes out with the secret, you know, blueprint and you want to buy that quickly, you might just be broke afterwards. If, it, if it's selling for 500 million and you really, really want that secret blueprint, then you might be spending 500 million on it. So, you know, that that's a big oof if you run out of coins. But the nice thing is afterwards you can grind back up and then maybe you can sell, you know, whatever you craft for very quickly, you can make a lot of money. So I think, you know, you got to think about like, what's, what's your goal in the game? My other thing is, is I think this game's majority of this game is about building. A lot of people just focus on the factories and stuff and they don't realize smelters, you know, if you're looking to buy smelters in this game and you think smelters is like the OP thing, because a lot of new players go after smelters, right? They're like, I need smelters. And it's like, you know, you don't really need smelters. You can buy 10,000 iron for a million, less than a million. Actually, if you're, if you know what you're doing, if you got someone that's, you know, making a ton of these, you could, you could, you could buy 10,000 for probably about 500,000 coins. That's less than the cost of a smelter that you're going to sit there and auto click on. So that's why I don't really use smelters that much anymore because I can just go and buy the iron. Same goes for coal. You know, you don't need a bunch of conveyors. You don't need a bunch of totems. I usually do that for, you know, fast builds. So I don't have to actually have to facilitate a trade because anytime I try to trade with people now, it gets a little crazy. Um, I get like a million DMs with offers and stuff and people wanting to give me stuff and it just gets a little chaotic. And then people get mad because I'm not responding um, because I'm overwhelmed with like DMs from one, you know, one trade post. You know, I've been talking to other content creators and I think, you know, one of the things that we really, really want to see back in this game are factories. Um, and we call them factories because the devs call them factories, but it's basically the whole like, you know, industrial conveyor systems. I, I miss that part of the gameplay and I'm hoping that'll come back. So if it does, then great. Um, I just want some more stuff that I can kind of build on my island that are interesting and fun. And when you see those conveyor belts and you see the machinery going, and I also wish that the despawn limit wasn't so low. 80 is just too low for the amount of factories we all have. It just despawns way too quick. So, you know, like food processor, if you're going to do like a food processor, then everything despawns too quickly. And I realize all of that's done because of lag, right? We don't want the game to lag. So of course we need despawns, but you know, man, I, I just want, I just want stuff to be able to last on my conveyors. So, so anyway, I will be posting some, 
build a boat for treasure videos pretty pretty soon here while i wait for my island reset here it'll be right there um i'm still i'm still trying to get that you know working so being able to click reset and hopefully that will work pretty soon here so so i hope you did enjoy the video if you did hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you are new and i will see you all next time take it easy